Mirror, mirror on the wall. Who is the dopest host of all? Happy Friday night, babies. Welcome to HQ Trivia. I am your host with the most, holding it down from coast to coast, smooth as the butter that you put on your toast. The one, the only, money flipping Matt Richards, AKA Matt was. Yeah. All right, y'all. I'm feeling good. It's Friday night and the weekend's here. Can't wait to HQ with somebody. Hey, 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 Mr. Quiz Dave. Last season, millions of age cuties earned billions of points, helping them win big bucks. So we brought the points back, y'all. For every point earned by age quizzes this season, the prize gonna keep on building and building and building and building to the season finale at the end of February. Let's check in on that prize, shall we? Holy mackerel! $70,411! That is wild! That's a lot. That's a lot of bread right there. A lot of Skrilla. Yeah. Oh man. You win points by answering questions correctly, sharing to social media from the app, or, you know, those, those two. That's pretty much, that's, those are the ones. Yeah! Okay, points help you reach levels. Leveling up gives you free passes. Free pass lets you get a question wrong and stay in the game. The higher your level, the more free passes you have, and you can go all the way up to 10. Level 10, my friends. So if you hit level 10, that means you'd only have to answer a couple questions to win HQ for the entire season. And this season, like I said, we're giving away more money than we did last season, babies. All right? Y'all remember how to play, right? I'm gonna give you 12 questions. They start out easy, but they get harder than trying to get your cat. Um, let's see. Uh, it, okay, let's, you got a cat. If you have a cat, and uh, I don't know, you had a mouse or something, and to get your cat off a mouse. Nope, I hated it too. All right, they get difficult. You got 10 seconds to tap the correct answer. You get all of them right, and you win. Tonight, we got $5,000 up for the taking, y'all. How much of that money will you be making, y'all? We gonna see. You're gonna want an extra life, and an eraser, okay? Because extra lives keep you in the game after you get a question wrong. You can buy one now if you see them on your screen. Also, erasers eliminate one of the wrong answers, giving you a 50-50 chance of getting it right. Remember, you can only use one of these per game, not on the final round. Okie dokie! Quick, before we start, Sunday, babies, we're doing Grammy Trivia Night. That's right, we'll be live at 9 p.m. with $10,000 up for grabs. That's a whole lot of shmoney. You don't want to miss it. All right, let's stop with the chitty chatties and get to the Krabby Patties, the money. Yep, here we go. Nothing to it but to HQ it. I'm gonna kick it off for you with question number one. Which is a key ingredient in marshmallows? Sugar, hot tar, or rebar? What's it gonna be? Okay, marshmallows used to be made from literal marshmallow plants, but these days, it's just basically gelatin and sweet, sweet sugar. Sugar, bum, 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 oh, marshmallows. <laughs> 313,521 are uh, staying puffed. On to question number two. Here we go. Which of these is a Sesame Street character? Mini mollusk, big bird, or medium ruminant? Sesame Street, can you tell me how to get, how to get to question three? I'ma tell you, you, you gotta get the answer right. If the Muppets ever introduced a medium ruminant, it will be the most lovable ruminant you ever saw. But for now, we got Big Bird. Big Bird, y'all. Sunny days sweeping the clouds away. On my way to where the air is sweet. 316,801 of you are moving on to question number three. Which of these people co-founded Microsoft? Bill Gates, Steve Wozniak, or Steve Jobs? Hmm? Who's it gonna be at question number three? Lavender shirt, purple tie, gray suit, yeah, I'm feeling real fly. Okay, 
if you're going to be computer literate. An important step is knowing Apple from Microsoft. When the Steves were coming up with sleek white machines, Bill Gates was building Microsoft. 280,946 got Bill Gates. It's time for question number four, knocking on your door. Give me some more. Which animal has a massive horn-like protrusion that's actually a tooth? Norwal, zebra, or Indian rhinoceros? Let's see what it's going to be. A massive horn-like protrusion that is actually a tooth. Evolution pulls some crazy tricks to turn mistakes into helpful tools, but only one animal grows a left canine tooth out the mouth, through the upper lip, and extending up for eight to nine feet. Yeah, it's usually a male but it's always a narwhal. Narwhal. Narwhal, yeah. 214,225 are staying alive. Ah, 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 ah. Question five, question five. Ah, 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 ah. 215525 Here we go. Where in the United States is the Del Marva Peninsula? West Coast, East Coast, or Gulf of Mexico? El Marva Peninsula. Where's it gonna be? It may sound odd if you don't know it, but the Del Marva Peninsula is simply named for the three states that have land on it Delaware, Maryland, and Virginia. That sounds pretty East Coast to me, babies. East Coast. East Coast, West Coast, worldwide. And if you with me, let me hear you say, right, right. Yeah. Shout out to Mr. Cheeks. <laughs> 138, 138,348. That's a tricky number right there. That, that one threw me off for a loopy, a loopy loop. Question number six, y'all. In chess. What happens if your pawn reaches your opponent's back rank? You can add any piece, you win the game, or it becomes another piece. Come on, chess heads. Let's get it. Uh-huh. Oh, yeah. Congratulations if you can accomplish this against a stronger player. And in practice, this might look and feel like getting back a piece you lost. But the rules say that the pawn is promoted to a rook, knight, Bishop or queen. It becomes another piece. 133,364 are moving onward to question number seven. Queen's Bohemian Rhapsody was recorded with the same piano used for what other massive hit? Unchained Melody, Your Song, or Hey Jude? Hmm. What's it gonna be? Tickle in the Ivories. All right, some pianos have all the luck. This one got played by both Freddie Mercury and Paul McCartney for... Hey Jude, take a listen. Same piano, y'all. What are the odds? Come on now. 88,931 are having fun. Moving on one more to question number eight. Here we go. Which of these is not considered an elementary particle? Proton, lepton, or muon? Hmm? What's it gonna be? Elementary particles are the ones that can't be subdivided into smaller particles. And although this was thought to be one for a long time, it turns out it takes up to two quarks and one down to make a proton, y'all. Proton, that's a savage question. Hold up, wait a minute. Here we go. Savage question song. Sorry you got it wrong. Savage question song. The right answer there was proton, proton, proton. I tried to fit it in and that was silly. Okay, question number nine. The crime fighting character, Don Diego de la Vega, uses an alias named for what animal? Bull, raccoon, or fox? Don Diego de la Vega. Don Diego de la Vega. Okay. Two data points to know. 
on this one. Firstly, that Don Diego is the alter ego of a hero so old he influenced Batman. Zorro. Take a look. That's him. Don Diego de la Vega. And it helps to know that Zorro is Spanish for Fox. Swiper no swiping. 17,775. Staying alive on your way to question number 10. Here we go, my friends. Time to get it in. Which technical innovation was last to be introduced in American feature film? In an American feature film. 3D, color, or sound is the last innovation to be introduced in an American feature film. Okay. There we go. You probably think you know film history. If you know the jazz singer, the first big talkie film came out in 1927. Then you find out that a 3D feature film, The Power of Love, came out five years earlier, and that color is even older. Sound, babies! What? Yeah! 5,142. Got that? That's a Savage Question song. Here we go! Savage Quest twice! The last one wasn't nice! Savage Quest twice! Sound came last in film. Most recently, it was a sound. Yeah, <laughs> 5,142, got that one right, by the way. Question number 11, all dogs go to heaven. Here we go, babies. Which of these cities had a team in the first incarnation of the XFL, Atlanta, Nashville, or Orlando? The XFL, y'all remember that? They're planning a comeback in 2020. I hope that it's better than the first go round because it couldn't be much worse. Pretty much everybody was upset the first time. So it makes sense that there was a team named the Orlando Rage. Rah! 5,201 are moving on to question number 12. Here we go. Before that, I just have to say, HQ Words is coming up right after HQ Trivia. So keep your phone close, babies. All right? Now I'm gonna sing it. Question 12. What's that smell? It smells like money. Follow me, I met what's funny. Woo, question 12. I said, question 12. Question 12. Mm. <laughs> I'm, in a, I'm in a really good mood today. It's Friday. It's the beginning of the weekend. We're going to have some fun. Question 12, y'all. Here we go. For $5,000, we got like 64,000 people left. Watching the game, 5,000 still in it, okay? Which of these fictional creatures is not a creation of Dr. Seuss? Quaggerbug, walk it, or schmoo? Hmm? Quaggerbug, walk it, or schmoo? All right. Dr. Seuss gave us cats and hats, a Lorax, Thing 1 and Thing 2, Marvin K. Mooney, Gerald McBoing Boing, and both Wackets and Quaggerbugs. But schmoo, <laughs> that's courtesy of Al Cap. Ain't no schmoo in Dr. Seuss, y'all. Schmoo tree, get out the way. 2,589 of y'all just won HQ trivia. Like, oh my god, that's such a what? Congratulations are in order for Miss, Mrs. and Ma, Halifax Brad, Jenny the Hun, Jason French, Steel Crazy, Kay Denzel, Roy Weinsnatt, and Chief 71. Y'all all got a dollar ninety-three. Whoop de dee in the place to be. Congratulations to all 2,500. 89 winners. <sighs> I am proud of all of you and happy that I got to be here as you joined the HQ leaderboard. Don't forget, words is just seconds away. Don't even lock your phone. I right, also come back tomorrow night at 9 p.m. Eastern for your chance to win another $5,000, okay? I've been your host, Matt Richards. Follow me on the socials at Matt Was Funny. Remember, the more you play, the more we pay. I'm gonna see y'all later, babies. Who knows the way to that thing that I left outside? Woo!